in our shell, uh, our city. And we had been told early on that you were going to stay with us. And we fixed our basement up. <laughs> and we put a sign up on the basement, Coleman Young slept here. <laughs> our, we were running a deficit at the time. And we thought if we charged people to come see the Coleman, you know, Young slept, it would help us balance the budget. But you came to town, sir, and uh, somebody else got you before we could. And you never showed up in our basement yet. But the sign is still there. <laughs> and if you ever come to town, we sure would like to have you come because we, the budget ain't balanced yet. <laughs> Hospitality, we feel a thanks and 
the gratitude that words cannot express. You just have to take. You just have to take our, our word. word. Thank you. Thank you. out that leaflet. They knew it was happening today and they figured if they got you down there they could uh, arrest all of us. You see because every time you try to create heaven somebody's gonna bring hell. But the thing of it is is that you can win. Now we've been with the Coalition Against Police Brutality, Sandra and I, Detroit Coalition, 
against police brutality. Excuse me for touching you up there. But, <laughs> but we've been on a lot of fronts. We just got a call today from a young man's mother where they shot him up on you but killed him. Got away with it. the prosecutor, the police chief. You know what? We don't have to worry about that. Long time ago, you remember Benny Napoleon? We got rid of him as police chief. You remember Dennis Archer? Mm -hmm. There were 40 some people killed. We got rid of him. We had, we had the federal government come in here to deal with that. And the bottom line is, you young people, all of you in this neighborhood, you can change this. Because the first thing that you did, like cleaning up this park, dealing with these neighborhoods, you work with the older people in this neighborhood, you work with the younger people, you take your community back. Don't let them slime, low life, scared, less than men. Because a man would not come up and line young men that look like them, that come from the same background that they do. Line them up like they're dogs against the wall. If you take that off, you know what that would look like? That would look like slavery in 1860. That looked like South Africa in 1970. They're lining you up like you're animals, and you're not animals. You're human beings. This is a family. When we met the family over here, this family has been over here for a long time, and they don't deserve this. And you don't have to get mad about it. You can get mad enough to make it better. You can get mad enough to organize, because that's what they're scared of. When Gordon and I and so forth walked down there, the reason why they came at me, they didn't come at Ron Scott just because I'm Ron Scott. They came after me because of that. They know who I am. They know who we are. And they know that the minute that somebody sees them, they're just like a roach when you turn the light on. They run. And so we got to turn the light on. We got to show that this community can stand up, it can take control, and that this young man, and see, coming up, <laughs> on the 8th. And when is the other arraignment? Tomorrow? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. So as many of you as can should be down there. The other thing is, they have a public hearing, they have a, uh, a thing at the city council at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. You want to go down there, you should go down there. The thing of it is, we should be everywhere they are. We're going to make sure that they never sleep. Like they won't let you sleep at night, we don't want them to sleep. They're not going to sleep. And they're not going to continue to do this with the money that we paid them to do it. You know how much each one of these guys are getting? They're working double time, overtime. Each one of those thugs that you saw, and that's what they are, they're the thugs. They say you're the thug, they're the thugs. It's thugs. and everybody else. And see, you're the kind of thugs that Tupac talked about. You know what, you know, the hugs you give? That's the hug you got to give to your community. <coughs> so they went down there went in somebody's house for no reason and go down and can tell you as an attorney if they had had a warrant they would have been in there they would have been in there if we weren't there without a warrant so but you got to know your rights you got to deal with them and the main thing we have to organize you must organize they say now the other night that you can't stand on the corner that's the same kind of stuff, Kenny, they told me when I was a kid. They said no more than three black men can stand on the corner. Mm -hmm. Do you know that was a law in America in, the, in 1870? That was a law that you couldn't have no more than three black men on the corner. Like now, they're going to come back and enforce the same thing today? I don't think so. Amen. We didn't fight for that. We didn't fight to come this far to have a city that's 80-some percent African-American, to have people that look like us come and treat us like animals. With our money, they're going to get rid of a hundred cops because they don't have enough money. Well, if we got police officers like that, they don't need to be on the job. Now, I'm not telling you that every police officer is bad, but the system is bad. And the system has to be changed. And they won't be right until we change that. And the thing of it is, we changed a little bit of it today. When we stood down there and they let you young men go, if we had not been there, and I'm not taking just personal credit, I'm talking about everybody around here. If we had not been there, they would take you to jail. So we're going to fight for that. How many people are willing to fight for that?
Yeah, How many people yeah, you fight for? You don't fight. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. raise your hand, brother. But yeah. you raise it. No, I'm straight. Okay. So, this is what we got to do. You either fight or you die. You either live or you die. You either take your community back or you let them take it back. 